Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and this time I'm trying a little something new to show you the difference between two things that show some nuance. Both of them are lemon fragrances. One is um, fresh lemon sugar type, and the other one is lemon curd. So I'm going to show you the lemon curd one later, and I'll do a whole video on that one. But for right now, I'm going to talk about the fresh lemon sugar type soap that I did. Now this fresh word signaled to me that I wanted to use a little bit of blue because blue to me signifies something that's fresh and like um, like the blue that you would see in an iceberg makes you think that it's just really crystal clear water. So I incorporated that with the yellow and I knew that the two colors would look well together. And then I did the lemon curd and lemon curd to me is something that you eat. So, and I love the taste of that. So I had to approach that one a little bit differently. So I made that one a yellow and a purple instead, because if you paired lemon with blueberry, and blueberry is really not blue when you, especially after you cook it, it's more purple. So I put the purple in there thinking that it's more edible than a blue, because we generally don't have blue food. It's not usually thought of as something that's very appetizing. So um, that's the distinction between these two um, colors. Plus with the lemon curd, I thought lemon, um, the lemon yellow and the purple go really well together because the yellow and the purple are opposites and give you a really nice complement and good contrast. So with that, let me show you the making of fresh lemon sugar type and you'll see that one incorporated with blue. So I'm first going to show you on the color wheel why this works well. Because you don't need any color wheel to tell you something works. You can look at it and say it works because it, it makes you happy and it works for you. But if you want to know why it really works in this case, I'll show you on the color wheel. So typically yellow and purple or violet are the opposites and so they provide a lot of contrast. They don't coordinate in the usual sense where it blends well together, but it does give you a dynamic um, combination of colors because they're opposites. So I'm going to have a soap that follows this one to show you what happens when you have to use a, a lemon scent and a, and a different lemon scent. You want to use yellow in both, both cases, but you want them to look a little different. So in this case, I'm going to be using a blue and I'm going to use yellow and blue because I know yellow and blue look really nice together. Um, so first let's look at the exact opposite of yellow, which is this violet, or like a blue-purple. So instead of looking exactly across the wheel from that, I'm going to go, I'm going to veer to the side a little bit and pick this blue. So colors that are um, nearly opposite, which means you can stray a little bit, are going to still provide a lot of contrast similar to using a red and a green as opposites. If you veer off this way or that way, you're still going to have a lot of contrast. And no one says you absolutely have to use colors technically across from each other on the color wheel. So I'm going to show you first. It really does depend on how much con contrast that you really want. I want a little bit of contrast, so I have lightened my yellow to more of a creamy yellow by adding a little bit of white to it. So then the contrast won't be as stark. So you just saw me whiten that a little bit to get more of a pastel. Something like that, I think. And I'm going to do the same thing with the blue. I want something not too dark, but something that has a little bit of white in it. and. You can think about it as, you know, taking some of the intensity out of the color, but you can also think of it as because you're adding white to both, you're giving them something in common. So they both have white in common. So in addition to the yellow and blue, I'm also going to have a base color to the soap of white, which I paint here for you, even though you can't see white on white very well. So I'm going to use the same color study in my next soap, which is also a lemon scented soap, just to show you the difference between the two different color schemes. So let's get on with the making of this soap. 
Okay, so I just mixed up my base color of white with titanium dioxide. The last time I used this recipe, the fragrance really accelerated it. So I was worried it was my recipe, but <clears throat> it looks like it's fine. And for this particular soap, I want it to be very liquid, so this is working out great. Nice bright yellow to suit its name of fresh lemon sugar type. Can't fill this container too full because this little slide of a handle will just leak the soap. Okay, so I think all I want are alternating drop swirls. Just pour about half of this white in there. Let's start with the yellow. Followed by the blue. About half of that too. And I have less of this. Some more yellow. About half of this. Maybe a little more. I'm trying to cut down on how many spatulas I use because I'll have less to clean up. So I picked the spatula that I used to stir the blue instead of the yellow because of course the yellow will yellow the batter. But blue tends to make white look more white so I don't mind that. this in there. Nice lemony scent in this room. I like lemon because it's so fresh smelling. Let's see. Gonna get this blue in there next. And the reason why I did that is because since it is a lemon fragrance, I want the yellow to be poured on top of the blue and show up more. Just get the yellow down the middle. I 
Okay, let's uh, do one of these numbers. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't want to overwork it. And that's it. I think I will. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. And I'll bring you back for the cut. Okay, let's cut this fresh lemon sugar type soap. Look the smell of lemon. Wasn't quite sure how that swirl was going to work out inside. Still quite soft. Find that perfect little circle there. <laughs> Not really. That's interesting. So you only get swirls like this when the so batter behaves and remains quite liquid. Thanks again for watching. subscribing and commenting. Really enjoy that. Take a look at my Instagram too, if you get the chance. It's under Vibrant Soap as well. And I have some more soaps lined up to make. The video part is easy. The editing takes a while. All right, so this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and thanks again for watching. We'll see you real soon. Bye, everybody.